I'm Stephen Stone, and we're going to do a bit of a tour today, so come on in. And here we are in the entrance foyer. Pictures from over the ages, from the early Degrassi. Some of the other shows we've shot here, like Instant Star and uh, the LA Complex. And some of the, uh, the awards we've won over the years. This, uh, of course, is one of the favored ones, an actual Emmy Award. Okay, so this is one of my favorite rooms of all. And when we go into it, you'll just say, what? This is the room where the table reads take place. The actors have never read the script before our table read. We rush down. Frankie, Shay, and Lola are distraught. Just don't worry. It'll be okay. It has to be okay. We're seeing their expression. We're seeing how they're taking it in. And then after we read the script, we have a sometimes quite long conversation. Let's discuss it. And it's only after that time that the script is published meaning that it's ready to be shot. And now, we are actually in the first real studio. This is Studio A. Attention students, I have election results. Oh, am I going to win? Am I going to win? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love high school. Actually, let's go into the science classroom. This uh, classroom or this set is very similar to many of the others. It's about 75 to 80 percent the size of an actual classroom. And the reason is that the camera tends to open things up. And if we actually had a a set that was the real size of a, of a real classroom, it would just look too big on television. It just wouldn't look real. This is a real sheep brain. Rat, so, that's a rat. That's gross. If this corridor has been redone over the years, in 2004, in an episode called Time Stand Still, a young actor named Aubrey Graham turns to go and then gets shot in the back, falls to the ground, and spends the rest of his days on Degrassi, uh, not as Drake, not as the uh, basketball playing Jimmy, but as Jimmy in the wheelchair, wheelchair Jimmy. Is the boiler room right hard left here? Or? Whenever you open any door on Degrassi, it doesn't necessarily go where you think it's going to go. Uh, this door doesn't actually go anywhere except a big empty set. But let's go into the Hollingsworth Mansion. It's pretty spectacular when you see it on uh, the set and all dressed. And then outside, it's just various wings of the enormous um, Hollingsworth Mansion. And this swimming pool down here, it's a real working swimming pool and you can dive in it. And people have even dived in after them with a camera to get the impact of them uh, hitting the surface of the water. We could also shoot from up top down into the pool so that you could see all the, uh, all the party goers. So lots of shenanigans going on around this pool. We would all like to live in the Hollingsworth Mansion. And it is the Degrassi Gym. One, two, three, Degrassi! But it is not only a gym. So many things have happened in here. It's been used for science fairs, for blood drives, for all the proms. Believe me, you do not want to go to a Degrassi prom because something terrible will happen if you do. We've, you know, discovered a lot of uh, neat tricks to be able to use and reuse sets. This is the home of Degrassi from the outside and has been since 2001. Back in one of the episodes, um, 
Holly J, Shantae, and Anya, three of the characters, left their mark on Degrassi by leaving their handprints. A lot of the fans who come and visit sort of kneel here and put their hands. It's sort of like the Walk of Fame. And turn the corner here, people would think as so often people do, oh, that's a city street, but of course, it's not a real city street. It is our set, our back lot. This is a bit of a sneak peek because the dot has been refurbished for season three. So come on inside. Mmm, it all looks great, but it's all fake, unfortunately. Back here in this section, quite often what we'll do is do two stories of green screen on the back, both there and over here. So if we want to be in New York, in post-production, we'll insert a city street filled with taxi cabs that will carry us on. Also, in, uh, we shot this as though it were a street in Paris, where there was a restaurant over on this side and another restaurant on that side to make it look exactly as if uh, we were in the streets of Paris. Down this row, we call this sort of the Riverdale area of Toronto, which is where Degrassi Street, the real Degrassi Street, is located. Really, everything is done in this building, from the very beginning to the very end. We're all in one place. Now we're going into a secret room. Nobody's allowed to go into the editing room. There's scenes that are being cut here that uh, won't be on the air for quite a long while. Hello, Nick. Hey, is there anything that you can show us that won't give away any trade secrets? Hey, how's it going? You have a good summer? Hi, Mr. Simpson. Hey, Eric. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so thanks, Nick. Here, here he is. Here's Stefan like Brogren. So Jason and I, Jason has had to turn off the screen so we don't give anything away. It's really going to be frustrating to wait for these episodes to come out. I'm enjoying it now, pretending that you guys are watching it. Can you guys do some real work now? We're coming to the most important office of all. This is the beehive of activity where all the uh, digital magic emanates from. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're ready when it's ready again. I don't know. I, I... <laughs> you should join in and subscribe on our YouTube channel. This is our live studio audience. Cool. <laughs> it's oh, tiny. I can't Is that either going to be postable or is this one yeah. just going to Thank you for visiting Degrassi. That's the end of our set tour for today. We've already got two more seasons in the can, and I can't wait to show them to you.